Hello and welcome to our video service for the 2nd of August here at Christchurch here in Preston. If you don't know me, my name is Chris and I'm the vicar here at Christchurch. It's lovely to have you with us. Uh, as with previous weeks uh, since uh, Sunday services have restarted, uh, this service will follow the pattern of the service that will be taking place in church uh, on Sunday morning. Uh, so if you're unable to be with us for the service in church, uh, this service will lead you through the same things. This Sunday, with the service is going to be a little bit different uh, because uh, normally if the summer had gone according to our plans as they were sort of at the beginning of the year, uh, our family would have been going to Sutton-on-Sea in Lincolnshire on the east coast, uh, a small town there where each year we do a beach mission with Scripture Union. Uh, my wife Liz leads the mission uh, and this year I was due to lead the 8 to 10 year old group called Squid and we would have been departing on Friday uh, which is actually the day I'm recording this and on Sunday we would have been doing our first services uh, in the churches uh, and a service uh, in the afternoon and then on Monday morning we would have been beginning our activities with the children on the beach and in the afternoon holiday clubs. This year, because of the lockdown uh, and what's been happening with the COVID-19 coronavirus, instead the mission has, like a lot of things, moved online. If you want to know any more about it, uh, there is, it will be information in the description below the video, uh, and you can look at some of the things that we're doing. You'd be very welcome to join in. Even if you're not normally coming to the beach mission things, you'd be really welcome to join in and see what we do. It'd be great, actually, if people from Christchurch uh, could pray for the mission and see some of the things that we're doing. As part, then, we're using some of the resources from the Sunday service that the mission has prepared for this service for Christchurch. So you can get a feel of some of the things that you're supporting uh, through our family. Uh, and Liz will be speaking uh, to us using the talk that she's prepared for the mission as part of it. And we're going to begin by playing to you a video, uh, which is a song uh, that we're well known at Christchurch, 10,000 Reasons. Uh, uh, but it's sung by people from the uh, mission, uh, and the slideshow that accompanies it are things that we've done in the past, pictures uh, from the mission, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's listen to 10,000 Reasons.
And as we gather, it's also important to remember, A, that we gather in the presence of a holy God and that we do not always live up to his commands. And so for our prayers of confession this morning, I invite you to join in with the words on the screen uh, and to copy my actions as we think about um, our need to follow in God's ways. Father God, sometimes my thoughts have not been loving thoughts. Sorry. Father God, sometimes my words have not been loving words. Sorry. Father God, sometimes my actions have not been loving actions. Sorry. Father God, thank you that you love me and forgive me. And may the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Our canticle for this morning is based around uh, David's words of celebration that he sang um, in 1 Chronicles 16 as the ark of the Lord was brought back into Jerusalem. And this is part of his song, let's say, taken from 1 Chronicles 16. And if you join in with the words that appear on the screen. Sing to the Lord, all the earth. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvellous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendour and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are his dwelling place. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due to his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship the Lord in the splendour of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant and everything in them. Let the trees of the forest sing. Let them sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Cry out. Save us, God our Saviour. Gather us and deliver us from the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And now Mary Fletcher is going to bring us our reading from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 6 to 21. Today's reading is from Hebrews chapter 13, verses 6 to 21. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange things, for it is well for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by regulations about food, which have not benefited those who observe them. We have an altar from which those who officiate in the tent have no right to eat, for the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. Therefore Jesus also suffered outside the city gate in order to sanctify the people by his own blood. Let us then go to him outside the camp and bear the abuse he endured. For here we have no lasting city, 
but we are looking for the city that is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls and will give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with sighing, for that will be harmful to you. Pray for us. We are sure that we have a clear conscience, desiring to act honourably in all things. I urge you all the more to do this, so that I may be restored to you very soon. Now may the God of peace, who brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do his will, working among us that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How's your year been? Weird, I think, probably sums it up for most of us. When we met last year, we would never have thought that life would turn out like it has. We've never heard the word unprecedented, new normal, more times than we ever thought possible this year. And we've learned words like furloughed that I'm sure I'd never heard of before. We've seen mass unemployment, tens of thousands of people dying, the country in lockdown, and so much more to change our lives. I don't know if you've been watching Michael McIntyre's summer show, which is basically just a load of clips from his last series of his big show, but each episode has begun with him dressed as a fortune teller and pretending it was June 2019. He, as himself, went to visit this fortune teller who tells Michael that his children won't be going to school for most of 2020, the shops will all be closed, we'll stop shaking hands and hugging people, we won't even be able to see our parents, and so on and so on. It's a clever and funny way of looking at how unbelievably strange this year has turned out. As a mission, we had plans in place for the next two weeks. We had most of the team sorted. We were looking forward to another great mission and celebrating Chris Lilly's 50 year anniversary of faith during next week. But yet here we are at home. Here we are not seeing each other face to face and relying on technology to meet in the first place. There's something quite strange about leading a beach mission from nowhere near a beach. I'm used to sitting and planning it all at home, listening to the busy road behind our house, but leading it from here is quite another thing. But how should we react when things go wrong and when our plans have to change as they have done this year? Let's have a look at our two passages quickly to see what they say. In our first reading, we heard David praising God for his complete control over everything. God is bigger than anything we face. How often we say that in normal life. This year, we have been facing something bigger than we have any control over. And we definitely have needed to remember that God is greater than this and in control. In our passage, verses 30 and 31 said, Tremble before him all the earth. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let them say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Let's remember this as we enter this fortnight, as we miss seeing each other and spending time with our friends in the next couple of weeks, that the God who created everything is still in control, still in charge, and the Lord reigns. There's so much we could pick out from our Hebrews reading, but I want to focus on just two verses. The first, verse 8, which says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. God hasn't changed. The world has changed dramatically this year, but God hasn't changed. We can still trust him and we should still be trusting him. And I leave you with the final two verses of that passage from Hebrews, which remind us that the God who enabled Jesus to rise from the dead also works in each one of us. Doesn't matter how old you are, how talented you think you are, how long you've been a Christian, God can and still 
enable, will enable you to serve him and to do what he wants you to do. As a team in the last few weeks, we've been thinking about God still working through the mission, even though we're not physically together. We've been thinking about how we can meet together. Normally we live together for two weeks as a team. We live together, we eat together, we pray together, we laugh together. We're not doing that. So how does being a team, what does that look like this year? Yes, it looks very different. But what isn't different is God's power and God's longing for us to know more of him and to love him more every day. Our prayer as a team is that everyone who engages with this mission this year whether that's through the pre-recorded videos, the live sessions, or the Bible study booklet, we'll meet the living God and learn to love him more. These verses from Hebrews summarise beautifully our prayer for the next week. Now may the God of grace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, brought back from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ. To him be glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so let us affirm our faith by saying together the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now Ken and Joan are going to lead us in our prayers of intercession. In the prayers, would you please join in with the response, Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, in the Bible reading, we are told to continually offer praise to you, we each now bring our own praise to you, thanking you for the many blessings you shower on us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we know that you are the same yesterday, today and forever. We claim that for our own lives now. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And we bring ourselves before you, having confidence in your promise to always be with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. The letter to the Hebrews tells us that you, Lord, are our helper. We need not be afraid. We pray for those who are fearful in these strange times, <clears throat> especially those who turn to you because of worry or suffering in whatever way. We particularly now in our minds bring before you those known to us individually. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, in the reading, we are told not to forget to do good and to share with those in need. We ask that you open our minds to ways in which we can do your will, especially this coming week.
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for Scripture Union, and especially this year, all the missions and holidays that are going online, particularly the Sutton-on-Sea Beach Mission, which Liz will lead this week. We pray that people will tune in and you, Lord, will use it to connect with those who know the mission, as well as with those online who are experiencing it for the first time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now may the God of peace equip us with all we need for doing his will. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So joining our prayers together in one, let us pray as Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. As I said at the beginning of the service, uh, we've based the readings and some of the things that we're doing, uh, done within this service, around the beach mission things that we're doing and uh, over the course of the next week online. If you want to know more about that, do get in touch with us, uh, either via email uh, or if you know our number, give us a call. We'll happily let you know some of the things that are going on. Um, you can find us uh, by going to YouTube, uh, find the beach mission by going to YouTube and searching for Sutton on Sea Scripture Union. And that should lead you to the uh, page that has been set up for this year's mission. Uh, half at um, 10 o'clock each morning, uh, the Morning Madness should be going live. Well, sorry, half past 10 each morning, uh, Morning Madness, which is our presentation, which would normally be on the beach, is happening. And at 11.30 each morning, the age group materials will be uh, go- going live that you can uh, watch and look at. Uh, There is stuff for all ages, from birth uh, through to teenagers, and there's also adult sessions as well. So if you want to uh, watch any of those, you'd be very, very welcome. If you want to join in with any of the live sessions, obviously you need to be of the relevant age to do so, and we do need you to register in order to send you the details for Zoom uh, to come along. Uh, And if you contact us, we'll give you more information about that. And so as we finish this service at Christchurch and we remember the mission and we thank God for all that's happening and commit it to him, uh, let us pray. Lord, thank you that you never change. Thank you that even though we can't meet in person at the beach mission this year, you can and still want to work in each and every one of us. During this week of mission, we pray for all who are involved, for those who've prepared materials and those who'll be watching and those who come to live sessions. Please draw close to each and every one of us and help us to learn from you in what is a very different way. And we commit the Beach Mission to you and ask that you would bless it greatly in all people who lead and attend. Amen. And so may the Father Almighty, from whom every family in heaven and on earth receives its name, strengthen you with his Holy Spirit, in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.